What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. Uh, I'm with Braden behind the camera. We're loading up the rig. Gonna go meet the fellows. Gonna do some things. Can't really disclose what those things are just yet, but uh, no snow in Salt Lake. Finally. It seems like this winter has drug on forever. We're optimistic that maybe we're through the worst of it, but uh, it's been known to snow in March here for sure. And I know this winter we've been getting pounded since November. The mule deer and the elk are not in the greatest shape in the world, so we continually are hoping for sunny skies, get those south slopes melted off, get the animals moving up with the snow line back into uh, hopefully some better feed and habitat. But in the meantime, we're just kind of getting busy, getting uh, excited for spring activities. Shed hunting when it opens here in Utah or certainly where it's open currently now. Got some spring bear hunts coming in the future. Got some turkey hunts, got some fishing. Should be a great spring. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna finish getting loaded up. We're gonna head head out, go meet up with the rest of the crew, and uh, we'll catch up with you then. Behind the scenes in Moab, Utah. Hi guys, welcome back to the Hush Life vlog. As you guys know, every Wednesday is a new vlog. Um, we're all together. We don't do this nearly enough, but we are all together down in southern Utah. Beautiful Moab, which is absolutely gorgeous right now. Weather's perfect, there's no snow on the ground. It's actually feeling like spring down here. Anyway, can't really tell you exactly everything that we're doing, but we're gonna bring you guys along and uh, maybe hint towards some things that are gonna happen, be happening here shortly. But uh, anyways, welcome back to the vlog. Tip 101 for you guys who haven't done trailers a lot. I learned this after years of pulling a trailer. The chains are meant to be crisscrossed. So the chain from this side, you want it to cross to the left, chain from this side to the right. And if that chain was a little shorter, what it would create is if this happened to come off, your trailer would land on the chains instead of the road. So I learned that in like a trailer YouTube video. Nice. You can these, also these are pretty loose. In. You could put a couple twists in those, yeah. Yeah, let's put a twist in that. Let's put a twist in that. Into that. Helper, man. <laughs> Shorten up a chain, you can twist it. Perfect. Pretty nice, man. This thing is nice and clean from Expo. We haven't used it since. It's a little dusty from sitting around in some of the winter, but the undercarriage, everything is like still mint condition. It's a pretty sweet rig. You guys, we're in Moab. Can tell. Um, I don't know why, but Casey's feeling kind of crazy. He's like, take my truck and go have fun while we do business meetings. So we're gonna take the trail boss to Hell's Revenge. See what happens, come along with us. Should be a good video. We're in Moab. Trail boss. What could go wrong? Three <laughs> camera guys, let's go. We're in Moab. All right, you guys. Um, we're just out getting some cool shots of the mountains. Show right there real quick. See those candlestick rocks? This is very small time of year where you have beautiful sun, red rocks, and then snow on the LaSalle's. It's springtime, you guys, and we're all meeting up at Moab for like a team group, just getting content, working off, working ideas, ideas off each other, and uh, just enjoying this warm weather. I'm gonna launch my drone. So this is, if you guys have seen any of our really like HD drone shots, they're probably coming from this guy. Is a DJI Mavic 3. Comes. This is the basic package. They do have a remote with the screen, but I'm just using my phone here. But it's super simple to fly. Real live time. And take her off. So we were just throwing down some some supper. I think we should do this like once a month, just so everyone okay. get together. Do a little uh, brain power, brain uh, thinking sesh. And just watch you cook? Just watch me cook, basically. As long as you guys do the dishes, I will always do the cooking. <laughs> but uh, it actually feels like springtime down here, which is amazing. Which leads us to believe fall is around the corner. So, we're gonna ask you, well, we're gonna tell you guys. We're, I'm gonna ask the crew first. We, we always go through this every year, like, what, you know, we put out a lot of content over the years. Hopefully you guys enjoy it comment down below maybe a hunt that we could do this year that we, we haven't done before that you, something you guys would like to see or if it's just back to the basics archery elk hunting things like that let us know um, but I want 
I'm gonna ask Logie first. Logie and Bert, if you were to do one hunt this year, 2023, what would it be and what would that look like? Well, 2022, you guys actually slid me some tags and uh, caribou, bear, had a lot of tags. And Maddie was always there to film me, so I want to just film Matt kill something. Big. Whoa. I want to film Matt. Let's I want to film Matt killing something. Yeah. I, I'm Archer saying. What, what do you want to kill then, Matt? Archery mule deer. Number no. one. Number one. Not not wolf. You said wolf the other half. Yeah, wolf, a winter wolf hunt would be super, super Elk rad. Not number one. That's that's like number two, number three. <laughs> Archery mule deer. Archery mule deer. Very simple man. How are we going to make that happen? Just go hunt, dude. <laughs> Buy a tag and go shoot one. Well, <laughs> that's a good way to do it. What if... Matt, what's your dream hunt? My dream hunt. Dream hunt. Archery mule deer is what you want to do. What's that dream? Like, what is that? High country? I don't know. High country deer? What? Somewhere you know. Somewhere new. Gosh, you guys are putting me on the spot. <laughs> Uh, back, answer the question. Back where I got it, an archery mule deer hunt would be pretty sweet. That'd be a good one. Spent a lot of time out there. Well, I don't know if you guys at home know this, but on Wednesday is Matt's two year anniversary working for Hush. <laughs> Hard to believe it's been two years, huh, Matty? Two spankings. Two whole years. So, listen, when you join on to be the camera guy, Logan knows this, he's been with us for five years now. You kind of got to go earn your stripes. You got to put in the effort. You got to film all of our stuff. And eventually you might get to a point where you get to hold the bow or you get to hold the rifle. So Matthew, we have a little surprise for you today. On your two year anniversary here coming up later this week, we felt like this was the right time to tell you what our surprise is. So we got a new bow ordered for you, first and foremost. Should be coming here a little bit. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> so, more importantly though, uh, we, we're gonna roll the clock back and you are going to be holding a bow in hand, chasing high country mule deer at your old work. Holy crap. <laughs> no. On your favorite place. <laughs> no way. <laughs> During the best dates of the year, Opening week. Holy crap. Serious? Dead serious, dude. <laughs> Holy it's your crap. your turn, dude. Daniel and uh, Cheeto were super stoked on the idea. And uh, they, they arranged a few things to make it work. So yeah, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be on your favorite place. As the tag holder. Dude, this is like <laughs> I always said this when I was guiding there. I'm like, someday I'm gonna be able to have one of these tags. And just being a guide, you hum vicariously through your clients, you know, and just, I thought it'd be when I was in my 40s or 50s, man. Son of a gun. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Congrats, bro. Thank you. Awesome. You're going to have your favorite camera guy with you, Logie Bear. Right. You kill a giant. Stop dude. Man. I love you guys. Thank love you so buddy. much. Well, we just want to tell you thank you for all your hard work over the last two years. Oh, my God, man. Holy, well, I know what I'm doing all summer. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Scouting bugs? Yeah, that's right. Scouting bugs. <laughs> Who's ready to go backpacking is all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to say a huge thank you to Daniel Richens, owner and Cheeto operator of RK. When Brian presented the idea to him, they were all about it. And uh, Daniel made sure that Matt got the best, the best date. So big shout out to uh rnk hunting company those guys are awesome we've worked with them a few times over the last couple of years and they've been amazing so thank you daniel thank you cheeto all right guys as you saw um i get to hunt mule deer in my dream unit this year uh i'm still kind of processing it kind of speechless and just super grateful for all of you guys that watch that make this channel uh able to function and continue to grow and I'm so grateful for all of the people I work with at Hush and for the opportunity. So I'm going to maximize this hunt and the opportunity that I have. So you're going to see a lot more archery, not only archery, but d deep diving into archery. I'm going to spine tune my arrows, knock tune my arrows. I'm going to really go crazy, show you every step of the process, paper tuning. I'm going to shoot several broadheads, test all sorts of things. 
I kind of already know what broadhead I'm leaning towards. I really like shooting a mechanical broadhead for mule deer without diving into the weeds too much. I really just want to take you guys along on this journey with me because it's been a dream. Uh, I guided there for four to five seasons and just really, really loved every second of it. And this unit that I'm hunting is just such a special place in my heart. I've been able to guide some really nice mule deer out there. And mule deer, if some of you guys know, are my favorite species to hunt out west. And I'm just so grateful for the opportunity. And I really want to take you guys along every single step of the way. I want to take you guys scouting with me, uh, training. We're going to go on some big hikes into some backcountry areas with Braden and my brother and things like that, scouting to really try and get in shape for this hunt. We're going to go to Total Archery Challenge, shoot a bunch of uh, realistic shots and angles and everything like that. But I really just want to maximize this opportunity and just, just be able to appreciate every step of the way. And I want you guys to kind of pull the curtain back and be able to see everything that I'm doing leading up to this. So it's going to be a lot of fun this year. I can't wait. We're going to be diving into my sleep system and my camping setup for lightweight run and gun, like ridge running type style of scouting. I really just want to dive into everything because if a lot of you guys know, I'm super into gear and technical aspects of hunting and mule deer hunting is the epitome of that and I just want to geek out. So I'm going to be doing a couple podcasts with some killer mule deer hunters, just picking their brains, taking some more notes and really just engulfing my whole self into mule deer and everything mule deer for the next four and a half months, five months. So it's going to be here before we know it. And I really just want you guys to be able to see everything that goes on behind the scenes. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity. And here's a little montage of uh, some big mule deer I chased and had the opportunity to hunt and guide. And I hope you guys enjoy it and get you as stoked as it got me.